This is Tesla Envy. I am going to show you how to check the phase resistance of your windings with an eye charger and a multimeter. So I got this uh, idea from Neptronics. He suggested uh, using the foam cut on the eye charger to produce a uh, constant current. I've got my foam cut program set up here for 1.0 amps and 10.00 volts. The reason I do it at that uh, setting is it actually makes the math very easy uh, when we check the voltage drop on the uh, on the connectors. Okay, so 1 amp 10 volts, uh, that is exactly 10 watts of power running through our phase wires. I'm going to show you how accurate my uh, eye charger is. I've got it hooked up and I'm going to test and I'm going to check the uh, the the current. I'm going to verify the current. This is a uh, a Fluke uh, 77.3 multimeter that I have. It's pretty accurate. It's a true RMS uh, multimeter. So with my foam cut setting, I'm going to start the program here. Okay, so it is now running the program. Foam cut. And you can see there it's uh, outputting exactly 1.00 DC amps. Okay, so I have confirmed my current. If I try and spin the wheel, okay, it's actually hard to spin because it's running, it's uh, got a current through it. Okay, so we verified the current is exactly 1.00 amps. So now we're going to reconfigure this a little bit. Uh, I'm going to, i got to unplug my multimeter so I can use it as a uh, voltmeter now. Okay, so I've reconfigured my setting here, or set up here a little bit. So I am now just running the current directly from my eye charger into my phase wires. Go to my motor here. So currently my motor is uh, spinning freely. As soon as I start that uh, foam cut setting again, uh, as before, it'll pump one uh, one amp of power through that uh, uh, through that uh, set of windings. Okay, so we'll go ahead and start the uh, the foam cut program here. So the foam program is running. Now what we're going to do is we're going to probe the voltage. So our probe ends are stuck and they're just uh, basically tapping into the uh, connectors on my phase wires. And I'm just noting my voltage drop here. I have 0 0.069 volts. Okay, that is the drop since I'm tapping either side of those uh, the phase wire connections. So that just happens to be the ohms of resistance for my particular motor.